Well, fans, at this time, Felix Tuto Savala Jr.'s All Star Boxing, the new generation, and Corona present Bantam Weights in the ring. And this bout made possible in association with PR Best Boxing. Una atracción especial a seis asaltos entre pesos gallo. Introducing our judges scoring at ringside, Ros Jueces, Matthew Podgorski, Alex Levin, and Michael Pernick. And our referee in charge, El Referees, Telis Asimenios. All right, fans, here we go with our bantamweight attraction. We are scheduled six rounds of boxing. Introducing you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks with gold trim, he weighed in at 117 pounds. Presentando en la esquina roja, con un peso de 117 libras. His record three wins, one loss, with two wins coming by way of knockout. Tiene un record de tres victorias y una derrota con dos ganadas por knockout. From Aguas Prietas, Sonora, Mexico, introducing Israel Filipino Rojas. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner on my right, wearing red trunks with white trim. He weighed in at 117 pounds. Y su oponente en la esquina azul, pesando 117 libras. He is undefeated in his professional campaign with a record of five wins, no losses. Two wins coming by way of knockout. Con un record de cinco victorias sin derrota. Tiene dos ganadas por knockout. Here is the undefeated Olympian. Aquí está el equipo olímpico de Fajardo, Puerto Rico. El invicto, Mejo Arroyo. So Telis Asimenios will call them in, and, once again, and we'll listen in. in. Charge Telis Asimenios now to give instructions. Gentlemen, you have received instructions in the dressing rooms. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Shake hands. Good luck. God bless. All right, Benny. Another classic foreshadowing: Mexico against Puerto Rico tonight. Boy, they love those battles. You know, it's going to be action-packed right there. Hello, Rojas told us he'd try to figure okay. out uh, make Joe ready. Arroyo in the first round, but I'll tell you this, you better Power. not spend much time figuring out, you better get on your horse right away. See, make Joe. And he is the younger of the two Arroyo Power. twins, McWilliams Arroyo being the other one, and McWilliams has one loss in his fight down in Madison Square Garden. Part of the young generation that uh, the Rivera brothers have. Peter and Yvonne Rivera do a great job with their fighters. Watch the hand speed of McJoe. It'll be noticeable against Israel Rojas. This guy's an extraordinary athlete in the red trunks. Just watch his hand speed. Watch his feet the way he comes in and gets out. Hit and don't get hit. He's a southpaw. So he jabs with that right hand, but he's got a powerful left hand. It's a left cross for him, and he can deliver it with some kind of power. Bang! Right on the jaw as he steps ahead of Rojas. Again, look at the hand speed. Down goes Rojas. Look, 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 look. And that was a right hand. Yes, it was. Four, it counts with the four, four and five, six, and six. He'll take the eight count. Tell us how Semenios gives him his standing eight count. McJoe will be right on top of him. Straight left hand. Bangs him again. Bang rips him to the body. Look at the hand speed. This kid doesn't know where he is. But I'll tell you this, Miguel Arroyo knows exactly where he is. Spanks him again, and Rojas does all he can do to hang on. And watch how calm Miguel Arroyo is going to be. Very calm, will take his time about this. I mean, with the eyes cold, veins of a killer assassin, he'll go about his job. Trying to give him the Pernell Whitaker, but he goes down on the knee. And as the the referee says, no, I'm not going to give you the knockdown. Remember, anytime, anything with the bottoms of your feet, uppercut. He tries to battle back. Does the tough Mexican who's three and one from Sonora. But watch the hand speed of McJoe. The southpaw rips him with the left hand again. Straight left, hard right hand. He jabs with that right. He'll go to the body with the right. Sets him up with a jab again. This kid does everything almost perfectly. And you know, and he's no hurry, right. Colonel. He's in no hurry whatsoever. He's going to take his time. He's going to look for his opening, not risk anything. And look at that straight left, right on the button. Digging body shot. He's on his feet again. He's hurt to the body. Asimenio better stop the fight. And he does. He got ripped to the body. It hurt his liver. And he can't continue. He's hurt. He can't stand up. He was hit right on the liver. 
with a left hook, or actually a left cross for him. Great power shot by this youngster from Puerto Rico. This Great. is a wonderful, extraordinary, champion quality fighter. And he and Peter Rivera have those guys. They've got his brother, McWilliams Arroyo. They've got Wama Lopez. They've got the Ivan Calderon. They've got Rocky Martin, uh, Rocky Martinez. So they've got a lot of good young fighters in their stable. And McJoe has just been absolutely beautiful to watch. We've watched him from the very beginning. He's now 6-0, and gets his third knockout of his career. But one of those patient type of fighters that looks for his openings, and he's so fundamentally sound. Well, you know what's great? We've got these young promoters now. We get two of those Jr., Tatico. I knew his dad 40 years ago. We get Peter and Ivan, uh, the Rivera brothers with Nicky Gonzalez, uh, Mickey Gonzalez, and all the crowd that support them down in Puerto Rico. And then, of course, you get young Doug Jacobs, the uh, president and uh, management uh, guy from the uh, Integrated sports that's doing such a great job and doing worldwide television and fights like this that the networks are missing the boat We get these pay-per-views going on all the time Betty How many fights have we seen in recent months that are just absolutely sensational with kids like the Rivera brothers have turned loose? And then you see right there McJoe Arroyo and then the guy in his corner Anthony Otero who has been so instrumental in making him such a solid, solid, solid professional fighter. Well, let's hope that the house has Jimmy Lennon Jr.'s microphone working. And if they do, we're going to hear right now from Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, with the time of 2 minutes 10 seconds of round number one, dos minutos diez segundos, and el primer round, our referee in charge, Telis Asimedio, stops the contest. El ganador por knockout técnico, the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, McJoe.